द क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग ट्रायल बैलेंस ऑफ श्री ओपी यादव प्रिपेयर हिज फाइनल अकाउंट्स फॉर द ईयर एंडेड थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन वी हैव टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द क्रेडिट साइड एंड राइट डाउन इन द बुक्स ऑफ ओपी यादव ड्रॉ द ट्रेडिंग एंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट फॉर द ईयर एंडेड थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन हियर फर्स्ट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द क्रेडिट साइड ऑफ ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट एंड राइट डाउन वाई सेल्स रुपीज फाइव लैक्स एंड आफ्टर दैट यू हैव योर लेस सेल्स रिटर्न ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड एंड इन द फाइनल कलम you can write down you should write down the net sales sales less sales returns that is rupees 4 lakh 88000 and the next one being by closing stock rupees 21000 this is an adjustment and this will be shown in the credit side of a trading account as well as in the asset side as current assets in the balance sheet because this is an adjustment and next change the side come down to the debit side to write down factory expenses and purchases and opening stock so to opening stock rupees 30000 to purchases that is rupees 2 lakh 50000 less purchases return that is rupees 10000 and in the final column we have to write down rupees 2 lakh 40000 as a net purchases and then your factory expenses that is wages rupees 60000 And to carriage or carriage in order or carriage and purchases that is rupees eighty thousand. Total the credit side that is coming to be rupees five lakh nine thousand. Write down in the debit side that is rupees five lakh nine thousand and deduct rupees thirty thousand, rupees two lakh forty thousand and rupees sixty eight thousand to find out the difference that is to gross profit carried down that is rupees one lakh seventy one thousand. This carried down will be brought down to the next ledger that is called profit and loss account, the second half. That is by in continuation. That is by pro gross profit brought down, which is rupees one lakh seventy one thousand. Next one is the find out all incomes and credit side items. That is the first one being rent received. That is rupees five thousand because rent received is given in the credit side. of the credit balance in the trial balance hence after writing this rent received this second last item rupees 5000 go to the adjustment number 2 that is written rent of 1200 has been received in advance we have laid the house on rent at rupees uh, at uh, rent uh, at rupees 5000 we received and out of this 1200 is advance this is a liability in our part because we have we are receiving income in advance it is not due we have received in advance rupees 1200 this is a liability it will be deducted from the rent received account and shown in the current liabilities in the liability side of balance sheet that is less rent received income received in advance will be shown in the final column as rupees 3800 Next one being by commission rupees thousand, thousand is the commission, and here the adjustment tells us the fourth adjustment commission earned during the year but not received was two thousand one hundred. We have earned the commission. This is called accrued commission. Commission is supposed to be receivable by accrued commission one thousand. Sorry, by accrued commission twenty one hundred. Hence, add accrued commission rupees twenty one hundred in the final column. We have to write down thirty one hundred rupees for as commission. This accrued commission is an asset will be shown in as current assets in the balance sheets asset side. Next one being. expenditure come down to the debit side the first one being trade expenses in the debit side of the trial balance and third adjustment outstanding liability for trade expenses rupees 12000 add outstanding trade expenses 
that is rupees 12,000 and in the final column it will be 14,000. This outstanding trade expenses will be shown in the balance sheet's liability side as current liabilities under the head current liabilities and the totaling of this trade expenses is rupees 14,000. Then next one will be in the debit side to insurance rupees 1200, to repairs rupees 8000, to printing and stationery rupees 6000, to advertisement rupees 15000, to interest on a bank loan rupees 2800. See it is given 2800 in the debit side that is the interest on a bank loan 2800. But here we should find out what's, what is the interest due. Here the bank loan is given at 12 percent in the credit and it is 30,000. Read the question properly. Hence first calculate what is the total interest on bank loan that is 30,000 into 12 percent and when we are taking the loan it is not given. Hence interest will be taken for calculated for the whole year. And we assume that within the this year we have not taken the loan. It is a old loan. Hence, if interest will be given to the bank or payable to the bank for the full year, it will be rupees thirty six hundred. Out of that, in the debit column, it is written rupees twenty eight hundred. That means we are we have already paid twenty eight hundred as interest on a bank loan, and the rest we will be paying it is outstanding and the due amount or amount chargeable by the bank is rupees 3600 hence write down add outstanding interest on loan rupees 800 and total interest is rupees 3600 the next one we total of uh, this credit side is that is total is rupees 177900 and deduct all expenses in the Debit side of profit and loss account, you will be getting to net profit carried down rupees 1,30,100. Then come down to the balance sheet. That is balance sheet as at 31st March 2016. Liability is rupee 4 RDN and assets rupee 4 RDN symbol will be there. Now current assets in the asset side that is first one being cash in hand rupees 12,000. Second one will be cash at bank rupees 28,000. Third one is debtors rupees 115,000. Then bills receivable rupees 4,000. Accrued commission uh, being adjustment will be shown in the asset side. It is an adjustment item. Commission receivable. Then closing stock rupees 21,000 being an adjustment written twice. Then fixed assets under this head we will have machinery rupees 280,000, non depreciation is there. Next one is furniture rupees 34,000 and next one totaling is rupees 4,96,100. Then your liabilities come down to liability side, write down current liabilities that is creditors rupees 1 lakh, rent received in advance rupees 1200, income received in advance. Next one is outstanding trade expenses 12,000 rupees, then bills payable rupees 2,000, then outstanding interest rupees 800, then long term liabilities and capital, the first one being 12% bank loan rupees 30,000, then capital rupees 240,000, less drawings rupees 20,000, add net profit rupees 1,30,100. Here, out of the capital drawings will be deducted, net profit will be added. That will be amounting to rupees 3,50,100 in the balance sheet. Now, total the liability side amounts that is uh, rupees 4,96,100 and the answer is tallying. 